Hello everyone, this is Mary from HTS Craft Studio, and today we're going to be making some Scrabble tiles. Our kit comes with wood tiles, some gloves, foam brushes, transfer tape, the cloth for the stain, stain, the pre-sealer, chalk paint, stencils, and a squeegee. The first step is to stain the wood tiles. Make sure you put your gloves on, take the cloth and dip it into the stain, and then go ahead and start applying the stain to the wood. It's key to go in the same direction as the wood grain. Add more stain as needed, and don't forget to do the front and the back, and also the four sides. You will repeat this with all the other tiles. In this particular kit, there are four tiles. Again, just keep applying, but a little stain does go a long way. Now that our tiles are dry, it's time to apply the stencils. Use the clear transfer tape, remove the backing, place it on top of the stencil, use the squeegee to flatten it out, flip it over and then do the back as well, and then carefully take off the stencil from the backing, so you will now have the clear transfer tape and the blue stencil. Center it on the tile and apply it. And go ahead and flatten it with the squeegee. From the corner, go ahead and peel the transfer tape so the blue stencil will remain on the wood. Go ahead and repeat that for all the tiles. And then we will be ready to put our pre-sealer. Make sure that you flatten the stencil onto the wood one last time before we apply the pre-sealer. Take a foam brush and just put a little coat of the pre-sealer. Make sure that you get all the open spaces along with the number. I'm not pressing hard so I'm just basically dabbing. So just dab, dab, dab until all the open spaces are covered with the pre-sealer. And then we're going to wait for it to dry and then apply the first coat of the chalk paint. Now that the pre-sealer is dry, you'll notice that it dried clear. We're going to go ahead and apply the first coat of the chalk paint. Take a fresh foam brush and again, you just kind of lightly dab. And a little paint goes a long way, so go ahead and just dab, 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 and apply to the stencil. And just repeat. Now that we've finished the second coat, we're on to the third. Go ahead and apply more paint and make sure that you have the proper coverage. And while the paint is still a little bit wet, we're going to go ahead and take the stencil off the wood. I usually start from the upper right hand corner. I carefully take the stencil out. And if it comes in parts, that's okay. Go ahead and discard the new stencil. And you can use your fingernail or a weeding tool to get rid of the extra stencil inside the floor. 
again apply this third and final color. And remove the stencil. And there you go, we have it. We're going to add our final finishing touches. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Thank you. For more tutorials like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again, everyone.